All right, now that that's done, we can get to it. Well, the first step I did to cleaning this body is I took some de, um, denatured alcohol, put it on a rag, and I just started cleaning the body with that. There was a lot of glue overspray, just overspray in general, over the over the paint, and you could really hear it. And just one little wipe with that denatured alcohol took a lot of the glue residue, because I was spraying just over here. Um, it took a lot of it off. The next step I did in cleaning the body was using deionized de water as well as the clay bar, the Meguiar's clay bar. And I went over the whole body and all the little contaminants that don't really want to come out, this little clay bar will get them out. And then once you have that done, it's you've got a beautiful, perfectly smooth surface to start buffing on. You don't want to buff with any little contaminants in the paint. You want it nice and clean, or else you're just going to take those contaminants and swirl them into the paint. As you can see, I got the body all taped off, or all the, the pieces I don't want any compound on. It splatters around, looks like a crime scene, like Dexter. I've, I've buffed the trunk and all the little areas. Uh, with this body, there's so many body lines and small areas, you just can't use the big buffer like this one, right? This thing works awesome. With the big flats, this thing, Works great. However, I needed I needed something smaller, and I'm uh, I would I think they're called roops. They're the little little buffers, but man, they're they're pricey. And for what I'm doing, it's just not. I just can't justify it. So I got one of these foam little pads right here. On I think this is honestly from uh, Harbor Freight this with the foam backing, the Velcro. And I just put it on there. And then for all the louvers, this gave me a lot of control. But with this handle, I would definitely not do it with just, just one single, but two, you can get right in there and, and, and buff around all the louvers without burning through your paint. And then use the, the 3M, uh, I believe this is, it says rubbing compound. Uh, there's Perfect It 2, Perfect It 3, and then I also have got to go over my final one is the Perfect It right here. That's what I do for my final one. This bottle is old and it just seems to just keep on lasting forever. And I've done lots of projects. While I'm working and, and, and just wiping stuff off, I don't you just use water. I use the deionized water, and this doesn't leave water spots or anything like that when it dries. So, this guy right here, what I'm using that for, I'll put it on, and I'll just do all like the detail things, like the corners, everywhere where you get a big buffer in there, it'll, it'll take off that paint pretty quickly. But this little soft guy, you can, a lot more detailed. So I'll just do the outlines of that, and then I'll come in with the big guy and just buff it down. And it, I'm talking, I love that buffer. It works great. As well as you gotta watch all your, your corners, your lines. You could even put tape on there. You don't wanna go near like a corner, especially if you're going with the rotation into the corner, it'll dig in, take off the paint. It's instantly. So what you wanna do is when you buff, you go off, always fluffing off. All right, I'm gonna keep on going at it. And I would love to show you guys really what it looks like. Because it, 
it was fine to begin with. But if you were really looking at it, like I am, I could see the scratches, the swirls, everything like that. I can't have that. I just can't. It bothers me too much. Anyways, so it'll be good looking good for a while. I'm talking quite a while, like probably with the way I do things, a number of years. I'm careful not to uh, wipe it down with anything rough, because that'll just, within one wipe, your swirl marks are back. Yeah, no. no. Anyways, okay. Well, here's the car. Not everything worked out perfect. I, I uh, was a little too confident when I was taking off the taillights. Oh well, I have some more in my uh, Speedway wish list. Okay, so you could see the reflection, hopefully. Yeah, all right, and you could see all the trash that I've got all around the garage. It turned out pretty nicely. Yeah. And what was challenging was the uh, was all the louvers. Trying to get them all perfect without burning any paint. But everything turned out nice. Ooh, feels good. I have to thank Kevin the Point. He's from Dryden here. Uh, when we mixed the paint, it started off as the Dodge Plum Crazy color off the new Dodge. But when we started, we put in the, the bigger uh, metallic and then added a bunch of white and then more metallic. And then finally, we had to put some red in it to bring it back to the color I wanted. But I got to thank Kevin for, uh, for doing that, spending quite a bit of time making the test panels and everything like that. Okay, guys, that's it for this one. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. That would be great. And comment. Tell me what you think. And, uh, all right. See ya.